Start each day with the right habits. What are the right habits? Be thankful for what you have. Yeah. Start with gratitude. Every single day. Drink a gallon of water. Drink a gallon of water. What else? Good. Write down your goals. Write down your goals. When was the last time you did that? Uh, like a month ago. <laughs> what was the last time you did it, Brian? Just half this morning. Maz? This morning? Honest. This morning. Okay. Well, so you guys have access to a goal sheet. If we write our goals down every single morning, every single morning, before we do anything else, how do teams win the Super Bowl? Practice. Practice what else? Preparation. Preparation. What else? Are the rowers rowing in different directions? When they hike the ball, is everyone just kind of standing around? Where do you run? You have to have a plan. You have a plan. Are you just running out there and just trying to get away from everybody to get open? Or where are you running? Route. We're running the route that was predetermined. What are our goals? What's our shopping list? When we go to the grocery store, we have a list. That's how we accomplish that, that we get everything we need in a short period of time. Because we're organized in our thoughts. We're organizing our list in a way that, okay, the paper stuff is all in one area. The frozen stuff is one area. We're not, just, we're not going to the frozen foods, then back over to the fruit, and then back over to the eggs, and then back over to the toilet paper, and then back over to the spices, all that macaroni and cheese. We'll be in the store all day. We can effectively grocery shop and spend $200 in less than an hour. We get everything we need for the next two weeks. Because we come up with a list. We come up with a plan. When we travel and we go on vacation, we make a list. Curling iron, hairspray, deodorant, four pairs of underwear. We have this list and we pack and we're effective in our packing. <coughs> when we sell, we have to have an organized list. When we're accomplishing anything, we have to have an organized list. And so if we start each morning with an organized list, a plan for our day, a plan for the week, a plan for the month, we know that today is the first day of the month, and over here is the 31st of the month, and this is the goal, and at the goal, I want to have $150,000 in sales. Where do I need to be on the 15th? 75000 $75, Where do I need to be at the end of the week? $35,000. Okay, good enough. You got, you got what I'm saying, right? We start with the end in mind. So at the, end of, at the beginning of our day, where do we want to end up when we hit the bed at night? Accomplished. We want to have a list of things to do, a, comp a bucket list of things that we need to accomplish. If we randomly go through our day, the balls hike to us and the rest of us are just randomly walking around hoping that they throw it to us, what kind of results are we going to have? Terrible. Horrible results. But if we have a game plan, a route, a recipe to follow, we're going to have a much greater result. True or false? True. I can't hear you. True. True. Good. Put some energy in it. So, with that being said, I'm inviting everybody here to pick up the habits of what it takes to be very, very, very wildly, grossly, amazingly successful. Ten years from now, all of us, God willing, we're all still alive. We'll be exactly ten years older than we are right now. My old boss used to say, if you arrive at your high school reunion in a Corvette or a Chevette, it's up to you. Because those ten years are going to pass from the time you're 18 to 28, no matter what. Right? So we work the same amount of hours each day as everybody else for the most part or every month that's in this room. Some people will have outstanding results. They'll make a ton of money. They'll have a great closing average. They'll have great bonuses. They'll have a lot of happy customers that are referring them more and more business. It's a snowball effect. And some people, in the same amount of time, will have the complete opposite result. John, what's the difference between the winner and the loser? Wins by mistake, wins by accident, wins by wandering around and hoping he wins. How does the winner win? You've won before. How do you win? He prepares. Prepares. So my invitation to you, Landmark, I, I'm going to try to enroll you in the idea of writing down your goals. Get a clipboard or get a Google Drive spreadsheet. Work with your team leaders who wrote, all wrote their goals down this morning. And I'm very confident they'll achieve most of those goals. Even if they don't achieve them all, they'll achieve seven out of ten of those goals today. Work with those people, the captain your team, and share your goals with those people. Send them to them in a text message in the morning, tomorrow morning at 6.35 a.m. Send them to them. 
at noon, check in with them and say, hey, Brian, I'm, I, I accomplished three out of my first 10 goals. It's 7 o'clock in the evening or 6 o'clock before your last 7 o'clock appointment or whatever it may be. Hey, I didn't get all my goals, but I got this one, this one, this one done, but I'm going to work a little bit harder to get this one, this one tomorrow. And at the end of the day, before you go to bed, review your goals again and look what you accomplished and look what you didn't accomplish. Look at the goals that you set at the beginning of the week for your week and see where you are in your progress. And then look at your monthly goals and see where you are two-thirds of the way through the month. And at this point right over here, am I on pace to hit my number at the end of the month? Am I on pace to accomplish this or that or whatever it may be in your personal life? These things make us successful if we get in the habit of doing this every single day. And success could be defined in a million different ways. It could be financial, it could be spiritual, it could be family, it could be with your kids, it could be you know, with your, your meditation, it could be anything. I experienced something five days ago. I got to go on this tour in Egypt. I got to see King Tut's real body. And I got to see this print on the walls that was 3,000 years old, 4,000 years old that was discovered by archaeologists. There were houses built on top of this land and they found that there was something underneath and they knocked all these houses out, started digging away and they find hard stuff and they find that there are tombs and down in the underground 50 more feet there's a body in a, in a cavern that's you know got stories written on the walls and ancient hieroglyphics, right? You know, it was something that I saw in like the Discovery Channel when I was a teenager saying, holy crap, man, that'd be so awesome to see those pyramids one day. It's just a dream. There's no way I could ever afford to do something like that, go to Africa and see all this stuff. The other day I got to go on a boat, 150-foot ship, and have lunch with four or five of my favorite people and have the whole boat to ourselves with a cooking crew as we go up and down the Nile River. Absolutely amazing. You know, that's been on my goals list for probably about nine or ten years. I finally got to achieve it. When I wrote that goal down or when I first conceived it in my head, it was absolutely 100% unequivocally impossible that that would ever, 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 ever become a reality unless I hit the lotto. I did it. I got to do all three of those things in one day. Goals work. Never in a million years did I ever think that this company would ever be able to sell $1 million in sales in a month. If you look in Lorraine's office, there's a bottle of champagne that I really wrote on when we did it the first time. It was impossible. I mean, it was absolutely impossible. It was impossible to figure out a way to get in front of 10 customers in a day when Drew and I first started making Google pay-per-click AdWords. How are we going to get 10 leads in a day? It's impossible. It's just, it, there's no way it can be done. There's no way in hell I could have ever bought my mom a yellow Corvette, her dream car, for her 70th birthday. But boy, it sure as hell was a, was a dream to one day be able to accomplish that. But I wrote these unrealistic, crazy, outlandish, wild goals on paper. And sometimes those goals might be as saying, hey, you know what, I'm going to go from selling 75000 in sales this month, I'm going to see if I can break the record next month and get 350000 in sales. It's unrealistic. I can come up with a thousand reasons why I'm going to fail. But I'm going to write it down anyway. It's a crazy, unrealistic goal. And boy, I tell you what, man. Every time I've written goals down and I've looked at them on a daily and weekly basis to refresh my memory and, and, and try to feel that passion of, man, what it would feel like to hit that 300 bowling game. You bowled 300 before. 13. What it feel like? 13, 13 times. I mean, you remember it clear as day. What the first time feel like? What the 13th time feel like? I mean, you remember the date? But it was a goal. It was out. It was completely unheard of. My my dad was there, so it made it even more special. So it was a great. God bless your dad's soul. Think about how well it felt. But how did how did you get that 300? Was it by accident? No. It was by goals, man. It was by practice and repetition and visualizing it and believing in yourself. Of course, there's some, some luck, some luck, some luck, some luck. The harder we work, the more we practice, the luckier we get. Do you believe in that? Okay. Luck is where preparation meets opportunity. Thanks, Brian. Proper preparation prevents poor. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass, pass this on to the rest of the team here. But I hope you got something out of what I shared with you today. If we go through the doors of amnesia 
and we don't apply any of the things that I just went through, then we're going to have the same results we had yesterday, the same results we had last week. If you write down your goals at some point today and you write them down in the morning, I have a, I have a, a routine. The first thing I do every morning when I get up is I go poo because I, I want to poo before I take a shower. Okay, I just I don't I don't shower then poop because I just yeah, you know I like to poop and then shower. Great schedule. Now what I used to do was when I was pooping, I'm relaxing on the toilet, I'm looking at Facebook, I'm commenting on things, I'm watching news, I'm reading the stories of this or that, or I'm commenting on people's Instagram posts, or I'm writing my own Instagram post, or I'm writing a selfie carpet guys commercial. Hey, got crappy deals everywhere else? We'll call the carpet guys. Ha <laughs> ha flush. You know, I mean that's what I did in the morning, right? What do I do every morning now while I'm pooping? I'm being productive. I'm writing my goals. Sounds stupid, maybe grotesque, but think about it. What are we doing with that time? We could be unproductive or we could be productive. We've got one minute to 10 minutes. Depends on how, I mean, I, I, I watch people clock in here, then all of a sudden they take a 30 minute dump in the bathroom. It's funny how they do that before, after they clock in. Um, I get to pay for it. Um, <laughs> But what, but what I'm saying is, you know, you know how many sets of goals they could write down in that 30 minutes? Poo, Poo get it? Um, but what I'm saying is if we're productive, if that's the first thing we do every morning is write our goals, and our first goal could be something stupid like after I'm done going to the bathroom and sh showering, I go uh, make my bed. Uh, after I make my bed, I'm going to get my son some, some, uh, some this and this for breakfast, and then I'm going to get him to school by 9.05 a.m., right? Those could be my first three goals of the day. I'm going to make it to the office by this time. I'm going to make it to my first appointment by 8.55 instead of 9 o'clock, whatever it may be. Those could be five goals. Maybe they're silly goals. Maybe they're not really stretchy goals, right? But they're five wins that I accomplished before 9 a.m. One thing I know about accomplishing things, and one thing I know about winning is winning is contagious, and it's, and it's, like it's got a snowball effect. If you're constantly losing, it's hard to win. If you're constantly winning, it's hard to lose. I've watched Blake, I've watched Tara, I've watched John Kohler, I've watched John Raymond. And these are two people right here that sometimes, just like me, have a struggle with getting excited. And I've watched them become excited and I've watched them go on a roll where they've gone on demo after demo after demo after demo and sold every single one of them and were unstoppable. Because once you get on that winning streak, no one's going to stop you. Bad credit, no problem, just do the, do the bedroom. And then when you get your credit fixed six months from now, I'll come back into the rest and I'll get you an extra 10% because you got a, you're, you're a previous customer. You roll with it. You know, oh, bad credit shit. Okay. Well, five years from now, when you get your credit fixed, give me a call. You follow what I'm saying? When you're on fire, man, no one can stop you. And when we're in that winning streak, whether it's by starting off with five silly goals that anybody can accomplish, but you got five wins before you even get to your first appointment, you're already on a streak. You're on a winning streak. And when we start our day on a winning streak, it's hard to take us down. And when somebody does take us down, it's just temporarily. We get, we get over it real quick, and we're st our momentum is still moving forward. Does that make sense, everybody? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There's nothing special about me. I had really good role models. I had really good parents. I had really good bosses. And usually I was oppositional. I didn't listen to them. My old boss used to kick me in the ass so many times. Tiffany Parker's dad, he was so hard on me. And I just rolled my eyes, man, like, I was like, this idiot, what, you know, what is, you know, and he, like, I just, and you know what, if I would have listened to him 20 years before, this would be a billion dollar company right now. But I pissed and wa wasted a lot of time. And I, how much time I wasted in my life. And if I would have just listened, and if I would have just wrote my damn goals down then, instead of doing it when I was in my late 30s, man, life is great now, but I can only imagine where it would be if I had a 20 year head start on it. What I'm asking you to do today is get a head start on it today. I'm sure you've heard me bitch about goals hundreds of times. I'm sure you heard me talk about being to your 9 o'clock appointment at 8.55, wearing a collared shirt or a tie. I'm sure you've heard me talk about these things over and over again, about having power and passion in your lifetime installation warranty instead of just telling it. Apply these things today. Look at what a difference your life will look like 30 days from now. And if I'm wrong, I swear, I'll, I won't be wrong. <laughs> I won't be wrong. If you apply this every single morning, your goals, check in with your sales team leaders. 30 days from now, if your life is just not completely different than it is today, I'll be grossly surprised. And it'll be 
for the better, I promise you. Your closing average will increase. Your sales will increase. Your income will increase. Your attitude will increase. Nothing negative will come about this. You'll be more productive, just better at everything you do. And I'm telling you, this is something you will thank me. Joe, Joe Warner thanked me for this three years ago. You know, because he had to sit there and make a stupid video in me in Florida instead of going to the beach about talking about goals. You know, everyone else is in the ocean right across the street, and he's in my hotel room as I'm do, taking take 36 on how to do your goals. And he thanked me for it a year and a half ago. He goes, man, I wish I, I you know, what did you say? Uh, well, I thank you. I thank you for it because I never did it before, and then I just started doing it without even realizing it's going to accomplish more than that. Everything. But you got to have the grocery list. You gotta have the you, you gotta you gotta plan the touchdown. It doesn't touchdowns don't happen by mistake or Super Bowls don't happen by accident. They happen by preparation and planning. And I'll I'll pass it on to you guys. But I really, 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 really hope you take my what I shared with you today and really take the ball and run with it. Run with it. Run with it. Succeed in a major way. This there's such a great opportunity here. So much opportunity. What I love about this more than anything is you can write your own paycheck. You determine whether you're worth 45000 a year or you determine whether your same amount of time and efforts are worth 200000 a year. Completely up to you. Completely up to you. You have the best job in the company because you determine your own wages. If you watch Cardone University on a regular basis and you keep practicing the principles and the, and the, and the, the teachings in there and you apply little bits of those every single day, you cannot help but get better and better and better at what you do. But if you don't take the time to do it, you don't invest in your trade, you never make it to the NBA, you never make it to the big leagues. you got to practice over and over and over and over and over and then you have to grade yourself and see what you're doing wrong and what you're doing good and do more of what you're doing good of and doing less of what you're doing bad of and you have to constantly check your KPIs, your key performance indicators telling you exactly where I'm at from the 1st to the 31st. At noon, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, I've got to track what I'm doing and where am I at in progress so I need to throttle up or throttle down. Does that make sense everybody? Yeah. 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 If you succeed, I succeed. We all succeed. My investment is to making sure that everybody here is very, very successful. If you guys are very successful, then I become more and more successful too. It's a win-win. I can't win without you winning. So I'm going to do everything I can to share with you what I've learned from other people that was given to me free and also through expense to help you learn the habits so that way you can become successful at what you do in life, with your families, and here at work. Because these are things that can really change everything. I'll shut up. I, I, I said three minutes, and yes, I did go 30, didn't I? Oh, <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Thank you, guys. Rick, you got anything? Hopefully. <clears throat>